Hi all my crafty friends and welcome back to Designs by Gaddis. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. By doing so, you will help others, just like yourself, be able to find my home decor DIY videos. I had this Dollar Tree bunny head and wanted to do something cute with it. I took all the tinsel and cardboard off by cutting and unwrapping it. I usually hang on to everything I remove, but I really don't like tinsel and can't see me using it, so I tossed it in the trash. I used some white nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I untwisted the three cords, so I only used one of the cords at a time. I used my hot glue gun and placed a dab of hot glue on the back of the bunny form at the bottom on one of the ears. I wrapped the entire ear going in and out of the plastic form. My rope started to fray, so I used a piece of painter's tape and wrapped it around the end. This made it a lot easier to wrap the rope. I continued going in and out with the rope until I ran out. When I ran out of rope, I used another dab of glue to hold the rope in place on the back of the form. I wrapped the ends of the second rope with tape, glued the rope to the back of the form, and continued wrapping. When I got to the top of the ear, I used glue to secure the rope. I used the same process on the other ear. Once I'd finished both ears, I began wrapping the face of the bunny. I glued the rope to the back of the bunny's head, and starting in the back, I wrapped the rope around the front of the bunny. I also added glue to the top center plastic piece and pushed the rope tight while wrapping. When I got to the end of the rope, I glued it to the back of the bunny and started another piece of rope beside it. I continued doing this until I was at the bottom of the bunny. I used my hot air gun to remove the glue from the back of the cardboard cutouts and reuse them on the face as a guide for the next step. I glued the middle of the ears, the eyes, and the mouth back onto the bunny. I used some Dollar Tree pink flower yarn to make the inside of the ears. I glued the yarn just to the outside of the cutout. I continued with the yarn until the entire cutout was covered. I did the same thing with the other ear. I've had this yarn in my stash for a while now. I have never used it but I will have to say it is adorable. It gives a little extra dimension to the ears and it has these cute little flowers. I used a mechanical pencil with the lead in the pencil, of course, to push the yarn into place. For the eyes, nose, and mouth, I used Dollar Tree gray yarn to cover up the cardboard cutouts. I feel like the yarn gave the bunny added dimension and it made it so much cuter. I was going to leave my little bunny just like this but then I realized somehow I had gotten something yellow on the side of the face. 
To cover up the discoloration, I used Dollar Tree florals and glued them around the bunny face. I wish I would have had enough of one color for this. I think it would have looked better that way. I may remove the flowers in the future and replace them with the same colored flower around the top of the head. But I think my little bunny head turned out pretty stinking cute. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. I upload weekly home decor DIY videos and you know you don't want to miss any of them. So go ahead and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting!